Good afternoon, everyone. My name is Paul Gill. I'm with uh, Prometheus Technologies. I'm here to tell you a little bit about what we do and also what we're going to do in the future. Um, just a little bit of background. Prometheus uh, grew out of uh, our public company, Lumico Metals, which is exhibiting at um, uh, booth 714. Um, and the concept there is uh, we were looking for opportunities in which um, different materials are used in future technologies and we started investing first in graphene and invested in Graphene 3D Lab which went public in 2014, had a wonderful uh, 10 times return on that one and then thought, gosh, this is a fantastic idea, let's look at other new technologies and concurrently made other investments as Lumico. Then we grow to, uh, a little bit too big for our britches and that's why we decided to launch um, Prometheus. And the concept behind Prometheus is to create a, uh, a pool of money in, in Europe, uh, raise funds throughout Europe, and then come back and look at some of the technology plays that are here in Canada and uh, look for opportunities. So um, Prometheus, okay, how do you get this to work? Great. Ah, there we go. Sorry, just apparently there's technical difficulties that I have. <laughs> so um, go to the next slide. So the, the, the idea here uh, that we looked at, and if you look back through the history of technological change, such incredible changes have occurred that have created uh, wealth just in our own lifetime. I, I, I think back to myself in, uh, in 1980 when I saw my first computer and thought, wow, this is a fascinating thing. A lot of other people said, well, that's a piece of junk. Um, and, and such incredible changes happened that in, in the 10 years from 1980 to 1990, and everyone had a computer. Same thing happened in 1990. Um, someone told me about a little company which had a funny name called Googly. Well, it wasn't Googly, it was Google. And 1990, it started, and by 2000, it was, it was a powerhouse and, and continued to be. Uh, a significant uh, event in, in all of our lives. And so we look for those types of changes that create such incredible wealth generation events. And that's why we, we, we formed Prometheus. We thought about incredible wealth changing, uh, uh, dramatic, dramatic changes in, in, um, in, in, the, in the kind of technology that happened that could create wealth. And I think that's, um, that's something that we saw again and again and again. And if you look, at, look even in our last decade, we looked at smartphones. In the last 10 years, smartphones have gone to you know, sporadic use to almost everyone having one. So what's happening in the next little while? Well, we look at um, those concepts. Look at um, right now, we think IoT is a, is, a, is a huge potential. Everyone's going to have updated um, smart home devices in their homes uh, that do added features. We have we have one that we're investing in through Lumico. Uh, we look at um, manufacturing and where advantages can come from manufacturing. We look at 3D printing and, um, and additive manufacturing, ways in which to manufacture a product without waste products. Very interesting, uh, compelling technologies. Also, right now, uh, artificial intelligence is changing our world and we don't even know it. Um, you know, people are employing artificial intelligence, whether you apply it in, as a, as a, in Facebook or other or social media, but also in trading and in other uh, algorithmic opportunities. So we want to be aware of these opportunities, pick out certain companies in, in these really hot areas. So as I was saying, uh, security, software security, definitely a big uh, point. Additive, manuf additive manufacturing, mobile power. Look at uh, all of our devices. All of them need uh, batteries. They need lithium ion batteries. They need other types of batteries. That's one of the, the things that we'd like to focus on, energy storage devices. Um, and also the electric v vehicle revolution that's occurring today, those are all going to require new lithium ion batteries. There's a number of companies that have come out. Of course, Tesla comes to mind, but almost every other um, manufacturing company out there that's in vehicles is also going to be in electric vehicles as well. BMW, Volvo, um, 
a number of other ones have all announced opportunities in this space. So it's that's that's where wealth is created. You get in at the lowest level. What what we're looking to do is um, is cr is to find those opportunities and invest in them uh, with the funds that we raise in Europe. So right now, where are we at in our, in our process? About a year ago, we engaged consultants in order to raise and uh, to create an entity in, um, in the UK and raise funds there. So we're at the, at the later end of, latter end of that. We have now, uh, at this point, um, got a pool of money that we have access to in the UK. We've got a company created, Prometheus Technologies, in the UK. And uh, we hope to uh, have some good announcements about our fundraising efforts there. So that's something to stay tuned to. Lumico Metals itself, uh, the public company, which is trades under LMR, owns 20% of Prometheus Technologies. And uh, so it's, a, it's, it's something to, that will be a catalytic event for Lumico as we, as we go through the process of raising funds and making investments. Um, so I talked a little bit about additive manufacturing. I won't dwell on a lot of this. Uh, software security, again, it's something that you can see a lot of companies here are involved in, um, whether it's blockchain-based or, or, or other types of uh, areas. Uh, those are going to be fascinating areas that, that are going to affect our lives, and, and we're going to have to, uh, to deal with the change that happens. Smart home again. We've spoken about that. We have some of the devices that we're we've uh, seen our our investment smart home devices manufacture. So that's something to to keep in mind. Here's one that I'm I've got a particular passion for, um, graphene. Now, that's something that was uh, given the award, uh, the the Nobel Prize uh, in physics for the development of graphene in 2010. Uh, no one's actually even heard of graphene, very few people have, but there's 15,000 patents and counting filed in relation to graphene. So this material is flexible, uh, it carries a, an uh, electric current, it carry, it's able to draw thermal energy, um, it has so many uses in uh, electric vehicle battery, there's lots of potential there. Uh, it has uses in, in reinforcing concrete, reinforcing tires. So we're really interested in looking for, for new materials like this that are, are very, very fascinating. We continue to hold a position in Graphene 3D Lab, which is um, GGG, through our, our sub-company Graphene Energy Storage Devices. We've worked with um, uh, groups in Stony Brook University as well, and, and that's kind of the model that we want to go through. Someone um, who's developed an idea in, in a university, um, has re received initial funding for it, and then wants to take it to the public, and, and we want to help those individuals. So, um, so definitely there's a lot of, lot of opportunity there. The next best, best idea in any industry is always sitting on a shelf. Uh, we just have to find it and get it out to the public. And there's a number of capital companies also looking here. So uh, we're also looking at co-investing with a number of companies that have already done the vetting for various different um, uh, uh, new companies that have come to, to light. So uh, some we're going to find ourselves, some we're going to co-invest in. So when I talked a little bit about mobile energy storage trends, this is something that you know we've all had experience with. It's it's an issue with electric vehicles. When is our you know I don't want to buy an electric vehicle because I'm I'm sure I'm going to run out of uh, energy by the time I I uh, try to drive home. Um, my mobile phone is dead. Uh, it actually is literally dead. <laughs> but I mean, those are the types of things that we want to. To, to see if we can solve some of those problems. And um, materials like graphene can certainly help us uh, along the way. So I think that's uh, pretty much my presentation. And a little bit if we step back, you know, what's the concept behind Prometheus itself? Again, what we want to do is create 
uh, opportunities to have uh, wealth generation through investment in new technologies and future tech is is the key word in some of those uh, some of those technologies that that are really going to change the future dynamically like we've seen with um, the onset of the smartphone the onset of the internet the onset of of computer, those changes are are potentially happening, and there's companies that are going to be multi-billion-dollar companies in the future, and those are the ones uh, we want to find uh, and vet and and try to support as we go forward. Just to leave you with a little note about the why we named it the company Prometheus. Prometheus was a Greek god that stole fire and gave it to to hu- the human race. So that allows our that allowed our evolution as as humans in, from from uh, mammals that were just hunting and gathering to um, to people who are creating civilization. So I think that's the most fascinating. Um, story in Greek mythology, and it, it rings true today that we're we're here to create wealth, and uh, ideas are wealth. Ideas are fire, and we we see that there's uh, fire out there today. Then we're going to capture it and bring it to you, the investor. So I thank you for your time. Uh, it's Paul Gill. We're at booth 714. Thank you. <laughs>